Hey guys, this video will show you what to do if your iPhone started to drop its connection after the iOS 13.5 update. When an iPhone disconnects from Wi-Fi where it gets an internet connection from, it does not necessarily mean that there's a problem with your iPhone. It's possible that your network device needs to be refreshed. If you're one of the owners with this issue, then here's what you need to do. First solution, restart your network device and force restart the iPhone. Just because your iPhone started to drop its internet connection doesn't mean that it has a problem. It is possible that such an issue is caused by a failing network device. Thus the first thing you have to do is restart your router or modem and see what happens. Here's how. Unplug your modem or router from the wall outlet or simply disconnect the power cord from the main unit. Leave it without power for a minute or two. While waiting, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. After releasing the volume down button, press and hold the power key until the logo shows. Now plug the power cord of your network device back into the wall outlet, or reconnect the cord to the main unit. Wait for the device to become online and your phone to finish rebooting, and then reconnect to the network. If your iPhone still disconnects from the Wi-Fi network after this, then try the next solution. Second solution, reset all network settings on your iPhone. After making sure that the problem isn't with your network device, the next thing you have to do is refresh all network or wireless services on your iPhone. You can do so by resetting all network settings. Don't worry, none of your files will be deleted. Here's how it's done. From the home screen, tap settings. Tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Touch Reset Network Settings. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Reset Network Settings at the bottom of the screen. Your iPhone will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the problem is fixed. Third solution, Factory Reset Your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix network issues including this problem, but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.